here with you again, and uh, I want to welcome you to this most recent edition of a short Facebook video I wanted to shoot. As we prepare for this second quarter of the year, uh, it's really interesting that in my coaching conversations, this issue has come up pretty regularly, and it's all about loving yourself. A lot of us think we're loving ourselves, but we're not necessarily actually doing that. So it was what was really fascinating is I was talking to a client the other day, and uh, he was telling me all about his issues and constantly repeating them and giving me story after story after story of how, how bad he really is and how he does these things that sabotage himself and so on and so forth. He actually purchased my online program, went through the entire thing, got results and just stopped doing it. So when he told me that, I said, do you know what, what, what happens when you really sabotage yourself this way? Because so many people will tell me their stories. And as they tell me their stories, they actually think they're helping themselves and they're really not, but they don't understand that. They think it's okay to just repeat the story and story and story and kind of keep confirming how bad a person they are or how much they fail. And they're just confirming this more and more. So it gets into their system uh, more and more. It gets into their mind, their body, their emotions, and their energetic system. And it becomes implanted there. It's actually implanted inside your nervous system. So this particular person was doing it so much. And when they finally told me that they do this pretty regularly, they get programs, they're interested in their development, and they start the programs, they get a little success, and they stop. And as soon as I heard that, I just said, let's stop with all the, with all the stories that you're telling me. They're just, they're not helpful. And this person was very surprised by this. And I said, look, how long have you been telling these stories? And he said, no, well, about 10 years. I said, how long have you not been happy? You know, about 10 years. Okay. So I said, do you think there's a, a, a one-to-one -one connection to that? And he said, well, I never really thought of it that way. And I said, well, begin to think of it because there is a one-to-one -one correlation. You've been telling these kinds of things for 10 years or more, and you've been unhappy and having these same negative and limiting experiences for 10 years or more. Do you think that's an accident? It's not. It's not. But the bottom line, here's the message here for you today. The bottom line is you can take all of this minutia. You can take all of your stories and all the clouds and the smoke in the mirrors and all that goes along with it. And you can boil everything back down to a pretty simple thing. And that's called lack of self-worth or self-love. Inter interchangeable terms. So when I said this to this person, they were shocked. And I said, don't, don't take that badly. Many people on this planet don't really love themselves. They might say they do, but the words, the words pale in comparison to their actions. Your actions really reveal your beliefs. Your words are basically meaningless. And I know to all the people in the world of psychology and psychotherapy and life coaching, you know, they kind of rail when they hear me say that. Oh, you can't say words are meaningless. Words are powerful. Well, what I really mean is that if somebody says one thing, but their life uh, demonstrates something completely different, those words are meaningless. So what, what you have, what the current conditions of your life are the fullest expression of what you really believe. And if you're lacking in certain areas, what I'm suggesting to you is you can boil a lot of this down to a lack of self-worth. And that translates into many different kinds of things, making poor decisions, procrastinating a lot, uh, ending up in poor relationships and, you know, having the same kind of conditions over and over and over again. Maybe the names change, but the condition seems to be pretty, pretty consistently regular. So you can boil it all back down to a lack of self-worth. So here's what I'm suggesting today. From this point forward, for the rest of the weekend, anything you're about to do, ask yourself this little check-in question. Is what I'm about to say or do loving to me? Interesting question. Is what I'm about to say or do loving to me? So if you're feeling under pressure or you're feeling extended like a lot of people do, because a lot of people will tug at us, wanting our attention, we're feeling pulled and extended and tugged at to the point where we're losing our energy, but 
if somebody's asking you to do something and your your intuition is really telling you to say no and you say yes check in ask yourself is that yes decision a loving decision for me not for them for me because what's interesting is that most of us will spend far more energy taking care of our cars or our mates and loving you know our material goods and our, our businesses or whatever and when it comes to loving ourselves we're last on the list we're last on the list and the the female population in this country relates very well to that because i've had many many women clients who've expressed that very same experience because it's a woman's nature to support and to help and that's great but you got to know where to draw the line and so many so many women will say to me well i don't want to appear to be mean or callous or non-caring but it's just the opposite of that consider this you give yourself the best way to the world when you're loving yourself when you're feeling good about yourself that's when you give your best to the world when you're not giving your best you become angry you become frustrated you become judgmental cynical blaming other people you know the old mm, they're doing it they're not doing it nobody's doing it you're allowing it to happen so there's no reason to feel that somebody's going to get angry and if they do that's just because you're you're demonstrating a different behavior than you've trained them to see because they're used to you saying yes so they're going to keep coming at you you know even adults are like children they're going to keep getting close to the line you know they'll keep playing towards that line until somebody says no well now it's time to say no and the easy way to do that is to ask yourself this really key question it's a great check-in question anybody who knows me or knows my programs knows that i'm huge on check-in questions because they literally alter who you are in that moment it's not a tip it's not a strategy it's not anything it's nothing you have to apply you just check in is the decision i'm about to make loving to me i'm about to say yes to this person but i really want to say no is that loving to me if i say yes your mind is going to tell you the truth you don't have to worry about it that's what's so cool about checking questions your mind is going to tell you the truth your mind is going to say something like no that's not good for you you know it's not a good idea for you to say yes you got this and this and this obligation and now you're going to add another obligation you're just going to get frustrated that's what your mind is going to say give your mind that chance give your inner wisdom that chance to speak and the way to do that is by checking in and asking yourself is what i'm about to say or do loving to me at this moment great question so apply that in the next few days and see what happens because now we're like i said we're heading into the second quarter and it's time to when you increase that love yourself factor everything around you starts to change your business starts to change your relationships start to change the you start attracting more clients better people or the target market that you're looking for all things start to change why because your energy pattern has changed when you're loving yourself that's about the highest energy there is love uh, gr uh gratitude it's about as high as it gets on in terms of the energy vibrational scale and besides it feels darn good doesn't it <clears throat> excuse me it feels darn good when you love yourself doesn't it so for those of you who think it's selfish take another look at it it's not it's just the opposite of being selfish believe it or not what you're really saying is i can give my best to the world when i'm my best personally when i'm not my best i'm not giving my best to the world so let's go ahead and be our best okay is what you're about to say or do loving to you that's the check-in question so good luck with that dave breslow come and meet me at davebreslow.com that's d-a-v-e-b-r-e-s-l-o-w.com check me out check out the stuff i have i got some free stuff there that you you're welcome to take advantage of so i'll, I'll look forward to talking to you soon take care